Hi everyone, it's Irit with another process video and today I'm using the Scraptastic Make Kit. Um, the name of the kit is the story I heard. <laughs> I did not remember the name as I started that sentence, um, but it came to me. Um, and I'm using this beautiful, beautiful paper um, from the Stylebord collection and I just thought it looked so beautiful with that um, pink cardstock that came in the add-on. I think I saw um, Mercy Tiara putting those two papers together and um, and I was like, oh yeah, that <laughs> just looks great. So I cut down about a quarter of an inch and, um, and I used the cardstock as um, my mat and I kind of wish I would have gutted it. I don't know why I didn't do that. It would have been nice to have some more of that beautiful pink cardstock but it's done. And I really wanted to use these four photos of um, yeah my family um, and I thought the numbers that came with the main kit I think it was would look really fun uh, next to it. And I printed those photos in black and white and then I, I just changed things around. At the beginning I thought I would use that dark blue paper but um, it wasn't working for me and I really wanted to stay with these beautiful soft colors. So I really went through my stash and uh, tried to find some more papers from the Stylebord collection and I was shocked to discover that I only have the one uh, which is really amazing that between all my papers um, I only have one more paper from that collection <laughs> um, which is good it means I used some of it I don't think I got any papers from that collection myself I think all I had was from kids um, maybe. Anyway, so I had this beautiful like circle watercolor look paper also from the Stylebord collection and that one is the only 12 by 12 paper I had left from the April kit so I was really happy to use it and I thought I would go for this um, like vertical type layout with uh, strips of paper um, one with the numbers and then the other with the photos and as you can see the black and white photos were just not working for me and I rarely rarely do this I rarely print another um, like the same photos again but it's just I had this idea I wanted to use the numbers everything in the page was working well together except for the black and white photos so I just printed them again slightly smaller I just made the width uh, three inches I think and I added some filters uh, that I thought would look good with a page and um, it's nice because everything matches um, but that's usually something I don't do it's like an extra step I usually just print the photos as I, as I like them and I make it work with my humongous gigantic uh, enormous stash and that's kind of it I added some embellishments uh, mostly stuff that came in the add-on so really fast layout and I really like the result it is kind of matchy matchy but I think in a fun uh, way so it's good <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and thank you Alex for keeping me company while I made this page and slightly distracting me but <laughs> it was fun <laughs> have a great day bye